Developments in the infrastructure market have been changing at a fast and furious pace. What are some of the changes you have seen in the market in the last five years? Wow. So five years is a long time for the cloud, right? I mean, if you think about five years ago, we weren't that far from the target breach back then. Cloud was, you know, this, this way that we could create some elasticity in our IT architecture, but it was very much a curiosity. You know, as we've progressed since, since then, you know, that curiosity has, has become, you know, something more of a mainstay. But I think the, it's important to remember that path isn't necessarily strategic or planned. So, you know, what was a curiosity in one department became a curiosity in a separate department became a curiosity in a third department. You know, one cloud provider turned into two cloud providers, turned into three cloud providers. You know, and before you know it, right, what we had done unintentionally was create this huge amount of complexity in cloud without even knowing. And then on top of that, right, we started layering new technologies. I mean, think about it. Who heard of Docker five years ago? Who heard of Kubernetes? And who the heck would understand this concept known as Lambda? Right? And all these things combine into this myriad of not just complexity in, in, in a multi-cloud environment, but combined with you know, on-premises infrastructure that's been virtualized as well. You know, this combination now uh, creates a massive amount of complexity. And, and, and we tend to focus you know, in the short term on this whole idea of shift left in the, in the advancements of you know, cloud native architectures, but quite frankly, the vast majority of all workloads going in the cloud are lift and shift, right? We're taking standard applications uh, complete with all their problems and we're shifting them to the cloud. You know, so this lift and shift of workloads and their problems now all of a sudden creates a ton more complexity. Frank, those are some really interesting changes that you highlighted. We all know with change comes challenges what are some of the security challenges that you are seeing in the market today? Wow, um, I guess I would say there's probably three or four big changes. You know, I, I think the I think the the first change I'm seeing is a change in the shared responsibility model, right? So when we started this whole journey at the cloud, a lot of the cloud providers it came to you with the benefit of, hey, you know what? we'll take care of that, that physical infrastructure for you. You know, and you take care of what you take care of. And remember back then, you know, five years ago, you know, we weren't sure that the cloud providers were, were all that secure. You know, as we rotate, we we'll give it another two or three years, that view of the shared responsibility not changed, right? So we, we've kind of gotten convinced that, boy, the, the cloud providers are pretty good at it. It's securing, you know, the physical infrastructure, you know, taking care of, you know, a whole bunch of that OSI layer. And then then you as the as the customer took care of your part. Right. Now we're at the portion of the shared responsibility model where we go, hey, the cloud provider does what they do and they do what they do well. Oh, by the way, we're not so good at doing what we do, right? And so we're starting to see more and more people trying to help us, you know, because we're the weak link. Uh, on top of that, I think you're seeing a bunch of technology challenges, right? You know, when we start talking about that complexity issue, right? And, you know, and, and the, this, the saying that I say over and over and over again is complexity is the enemy of security, right? That kind of complexity of multi-cloud, you know, both hybrid and on-prem, you know, creates this multiplicity of tool sets, right? And all these different tools we have to use, you know, creates a lot of complexity, you know, and quite frankly, securing cloud native applications is different than, than securing applications in a, in a hosted or virtualized on-prem environment. Then we got people challenges, right? Because think about it, five years ago, the, the data center was the, was the domain of the CIO and the CISO came with an with a iron fist, right? And dictated what we did in terms of security. Now, not so much, right? Because as we buy cloud by the by the spoonful and, and we track cloud, you know, with a various number of uh, of different tracking methods, right? The one thing that we're doing is we can build those cloud expenses directly to the BU. Well, now the BU 
gets involved in, in, in securing the cloud and the app developer gets involved in securing the cloud. Of course, the CIO gets involved, you know, even and the CISO gets involved, even, 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 you know, people are involved with compliance. So now what you're seeing is this whole change from this iron fist to starting seeing more and more development of, you know, cloud excellence teams, right? How do we, how do we bring people together to solve some of these problems as a more matrix type organization rather than just the iron fist of the CIO and, and then quite frankly process changes, right? So, you know, this, this, this path we've taken up on cloud, it hasn't been a known path. It hasn't been a map path. We've kind of been figuring out as we go along the processes have happened as we've gone along, right? So we haven't exactly gone through best practice because we haven't known what best practice was. So I think I think if I, I was to fi finalize, I mean, I guess that's what I'd say. There's a whole potpourri of you know, changes in the shared responsibility model, technology changes, people changes, and of course, process changes. So far, Frank, we've talked about some of the challenges, some of the changes that you're seeing in the market. Now, what about the solutions? Can you provide your thoughts on the solution approaches out there in the market today? Wow. I mean, I guess there's as many approaches as there are companies in the cloud. I would kind of put them into three big approaches, right? So the first approach is, you know, buy from the cloud provider. Um, you know, let's face it, the cloud providers have got a lot of really rich tool sets and those tool sets are really good in their environments, right? The challenge that you have with that approach is that's a, it's a really good approach if you are in a cloud environment, right? The problem is the vast majority of the surveys that we do say that somewhere between 15 and 20% of companies are only in one cloud, right? For the other 80 to 85% of that, now what you have by default is if you're buying your security from the cloud provider, now, by definition, you have multiple security providers. And of course, with the more cloud providers you have, right, it's just an exponential impact. Um, the second part would be go best of breed, right? So you go and you pick a whole bunch of, of point solutions, depending upon who that who the particular cloud provider is, you know, what it is you're trying to address, what works best for this application. Um, and that, that, that's good as well. Um, the problem with it is, is that's not a solution, right? What that is is a bunch of point products. And so what a bunch of point products means is that you're responsible for owning it, right? You're responsible for the integrations, right? And just ask your, your favorite SAML engineer how well, how well integrations work, right? How fragile are APIs? Because the APIs are fantastic until they're not, right? And of course, that API always breaks when you're not expecting it. And let's face it, you know, everyone in your audience, Michael's probably had to address a broken API issue on a Saturday night, right? That's when it happens, it's, it's, it's Murphy's Law. The last approach is go with a solution provider, right? So companies that have looked to address, you know, the whole gamut, right? And so. Uh, there's some there's some advantages to that, right? So if you are not single cloud and you're multi cloud, right? A, a a platform provider can have one single tool set that spans, you know, multiple clouds. The the other thing that does is a a solution provider tends to grow their solutions as the cloud grows, right? So we talked about this whole migration from VMs to Kubernetes to managed Kubernetes to, to Lambda functions, right? So a solution provider a lot of times can, can take you on that path. And that doesn't mean that they did it organically, right? Sometimes it's through acquisition. Let's look at Trend Micro, right? You know, so Trend Micro is the, the biggest company that we have providing, you know, platforms. You know, and essentially what they've done is become an integrator, right? So, I mean, sometimes we forget, you know, think back to 2009, you know, they bought a company called Third Brigade, right? And then from after Third Brigade, you know, many years later, they bought a company called Immunio, right? Because what was Immunio doing? Well, they provided us with some posture assessment and they helped us, you know, make sure that things that we were going, that we were uh, delivering to the cloud 
weren't rich with CVEs, you know, and then they bought cloud conformity, right? Because as we found out lately, you know, right, the, the biggest weakness in the cloud isn't necessarily CVEs, right? It's configurations. I mean, come on, think about it, right? The, the biggest issue we've been dealing with for many a year is open S3 buckets. Now, open S3 buckets aren't open by default. They're closed by default. Some app developer had to go in and physically open them up. But once again, it's that it's that that step, right? App developers tend to be tend to be motivated to get the app done. And sometimes, you know, well-meaning, they open up a bucket, they mean to go back, and they just forget. It happens, right? So I guess those would be the big three approach. Go from your cloud provider, buy best of breed, go with the platform approach. Frank, I think we have time for one more question. And that question is triggered by something I've heard you say on many occasions, and that is complexity is the enemy of security. Now, I know many folks in the audience may feel the same way. So can you share your thoughts on how uh, folks can address the complexity issue? Yeah, you and uh, everyone else in your audience has probably heard me say that complexity is enemy security at least once. Uh, I'm kind of a broken record on that. I guess the the one insight that I, I, I and I'm, I'm watching again, I'm a broken record on this as well, right? It's get off the hamster wheel, right? Because the, the path that we've taken on cloud is very reactionary. We try this, we do that, and we're kind of making it up as we go along. Got to stop, right? We've got to move from, from the tactical and get to, to, to the strategic, right? We have to start planning and not just planning what we're doing now. We have to plan what we're doing going forward. So the idea is do some planning so that you can maybe reduce the number of cloud providers if possible, reduce the number of security tools you're using, right? And do some future proofing, right? If, if you're in, in, let's say in AWS, right? And all your workloads are, are VM based and you just lifted, shifted everything to the cloud and everything's working. It's only a matter of time before someone in your organization is going to want to go to Kubernetes. How about predefining what that is? Somebody's going to want to use Lambda functions. How about define, you know, how you're going to protect that, how you're going to implement that and, and get some, some shared tools so that, you know, moving forward, right, you're not creating complexity, but you're reducing complexity. So like I said, whenever you can, do some planning, get off the hamster wheel and, and do some strategic planning. Thanks a lot, Frank, for taking that extra question from me. And on behalf of Trend Micro, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today and sharing your perspectives on cloud security. For all attendees, thank you for joining us today. Have a great day and stay safe out there.